Hi everybody, today is January 30th, 2013. I would think this would be grounds for a lawsuit. I just heard about this. GEICO is canceling insurance because customer works in firearms industry. A South Dakota reader has sent us his notification of cancellation of auto insurance from GEICO, effective 122 of this year, 2013, due to the fact that the vehicle does not meet our underwriting guidelines because it is used in conjunction with the company that deals in the weapons industry. First Bank of America began confiscating the funds of firearm dealer. Now GEICO believes it can cancel service for anyone working in the firearm industry. Who need guns bans when the banksters are more than willing to do the dirty work and pull strong armed corruption Chicago style stunts. And I'll show you an image of that. Can you read it? We are canceling this policy. Your insurance will cease on the date of cancellation shown above. The reason for cancellation is your vehicle the whatever does not meet our underwriting guidelines because it is used in conjunction with a company that deals with the weapon industry. If you question the facts upon this action is based, you may make a written request to us and we will furnish you with such information within 15 days of receipt of your request. If the insurer fails to provide this information, you may apply to the commissioner for a certification of facts or information desired. This policy provides auto liability coverage. You should contact your agent or any agent concerning your possible eligibility for replacement coverage through another insurer or the Montana Automobile Insurance Plan and it's uh, signed P.O. Box at 7917 San Francisco, California. So I don't know why they're mon mentioning Montana Automobile Insurance Plan when it's supposed to be from or supposed to be issued to South Dakota driver. Here's another image, maybe it's a little bit clearer for you. It was mailed on December 6th, it looks like. And this letter is to someone that you can still see the writing there even though it's been crossed out. So maybe the issuer was based in Montana when they got the insurance. Well, I like the little gecko. I hope he decides to quit their company, tongue in cheek. That little gecko better be watching his back, right? <laughs> All right, bookmark my site. I'll keep everyone up to date. Please stay safe, and I'll talk to you later. God bless you all. Bye.